Yo, what up guys? How are you guys doing? This is my very very first video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to how to install all the necessary softwares to compile and run programs written in Objective C. So first off, we need to get the the installers the ming ming w installer and the gnu step installer all right gnu step installer you can just download them uh googling them just type in google ming w it will be the first link go to the download section automated ming w installer uh, Ming W and get the the latest one, so it's a top one. So get this one. I already have it downloaded. Same thing here. Genu step. First link. Go to the download section. Uh, go to the bottom of the page, and at the bottom of the page, you will find Windows. Get the Windows installer. Before downloading or installing, please read this paragraph. If you don't follow this paragraph, your compilation will not work. So geez, please just follow it. So download the system, download the core, and afterwards, according to this paragraph, you have to install the system first and then the core. Well, I already have everything installed. I'm just going to show you something regarding the Ming W installation. So when you install the Ming W installation, make sure you have the Objective C uh, checkbox selected. It's right here. So we, when you select it, it will appear installing C compiler, Objective C compiler. All right. I already have it installed, and once you've installed everything, you can go to All Programs, New Step Shell. New Step will create a new environment for you and it's basically the same thing as in Linux so type in LX, ls to see your files and directories we don't have anything so we type in mkadir uh, objective c so he created ls there you go objective c there's nothing in it so let's create a file with vim vim hello world I know this is very cliche, hello world, but it's awesome, dude. So, here's the Vim. He created a file for you to edit it. So, awesome. To exit this, to exit the Vim, you have to type in two dots, uh, WQ for him to exit and save it. So, save it. Now, if we go to the computer, new step, your installation directory of the new step, go to my sys 1.0 home he created this is the workspace that he created this is a folder that you created and this is the file that you created so I'm not gonna edit this file using the vim I'm gonna edit using the notepad plus plus so right click edit with notepad plus plus so I already have the structure an objective C structure file here so I'm just gonna copy paste this here and save it so saved my next tutorial I'm gonna go through each line explaining what's going on so this video is just to show how to compile and run it so you have everything here saved it so you can type vim hello world there you go that's what you just typed in alright so two dots quit so that he can just quit without saving now uh, to in order to compile it, you have to type in this command gcc negative all following these parameters. This is very important. It should be in this order. And if you don't do this, your compilation will fail, and it's not a good thing. So follow this, and you'll be just fine compiling your program. So let's type in. GCC negative all the name of the program so it will be hello world oops hello world 
uh, the file, the .m file. Now the parameters, negative i, gnu step. System, here you can use the tab thingy. So it's awesome, it saves you a lot of time. Libraries, headers, negative l, gn, oops, gnu step. System, libraries, libraries. Object C, negative GNU step, base F constant string class equals NS constant string. So you have everything typed in, you're ready to compile your program. The GNU step will try to compile it, and it, if it's successfully, he will not show, he will not display any errors below your your command. So, should type enter, we should not see any errors. So, no errors, so that's a good thing. So, if type in LX, so he compiled successfully, he, you can see that he created a hello world.x, and here's your, your original file, hello world.m. To run this program, you just type dot slash hello world x, and you'll see that your program successfully outputted the string hello world in Objective C. All right, so these are the steps to compile and run your programs written in Objective C. And my next tutorial, I'll show you. I'll go through every line. Uh, in a .m file to explain it to you what's going on and everything. Hope you like it and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, thank you. Bye.